and I'm here with one of the top grandmasters of Indian chess, Krishnan Shashi Kiran. Hi, Shashi. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Uh, Shashi, uh, we are just one day away from the chess super league. Uh, what are your thoughts about this event? I think it's a great start. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, just to have a, a, a team of uh, international uh, top players of the world and uh, Indian players together. And uh, I, I, I can only assume that it can only get better for, uh, from uh, here onwards. Yeah. Absolutely. I remember Shashi that uh, when we once played in Maharashtra chess league, we were in one team together and it was a amazing learning experience for me. I've said it several times that through that experience, I actually, you remember you had taken one session where we were discussing uh, yeah, some yeah, openings yeah. and yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, opened up horizons for me. And I am sure that people who are in your team, like the youngsters will also uh, benefit in some way or the other. Yeah, but uh, those times are, you know, different where you could uh, uh, actually move the pieces over the board and, uh, you know, discuss with uh, with teammates. Yeah, but here it's uh, everything is mostly online. Yeah, correct. But anyway, anyway, I hope uh, it'll be a nice experience. Yeah, and just to, you know, uh, just to see how uh, things uh, turn out. Yeah, I, because um uh, the the first time you know you're uh, generally uh, uh, like uh, seeing many things for the many many things as new yeah and uh, online is a bit different than uh, um, you this uh, uh, over the board chess yeah Correct. because online also you need to have uh, uh, proficiency with the mouse as well yeah mm. true true does uh buying which mouse take up a lot of thought of chess players for online chess? Yeah, I guess uh, people have their uh, uh, preferences. Yeah, uh, some people prefer a larger mouse, but some people prefer a smaller mouse. Uh, it's just uh, how you feel about uh, these things. Yeah. And also there are a lot of uh, gaming mouses available mm -hmm. in the market. Yeah. So you very feel, feel kayak. Yeah, I for myself, uh, when I had to play a couple of uh, games, I took a wireless mouse because I was like, you know, you have to move it faster. I asked. No, I, I think I think most of most of the professionals use wireless mouse. I, I, I myself also use a wireless mouse. Yeah, it's uh, very difficult to move with the wire. Yeah, Correct. Uh, when you play uh, online blitz. Yeah, what is your model of mouse? Do you know it or so that maybe some people can. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's uh, I have a. Uh, 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 a logitech yeah but uh mm. it's uh well some some wireless stuff yeah and uh, quite uh some high uh, uh what do you call this uh psi i don't know uh, what is it called i don't know yeah maybe uh, it's uh some uh what what exactly it is called yeah mouth wow how how do you measure mouse speed? Yeah, this is Shashi for you guys. Uh, he <laughs> he cannot uh, be like okay, uh, we'll do it after the interview. He has to know yeah, sure. this. So, uh, what is it called? Yeah, I think it's called PSI. Yeah, mm. I don't know. Because it's supposed to be uh, react quickly to your. I mean, Moments. whatever. Uh, I think it's MSI. Yeah, probably. Yeah. It's hmm. MSI, yeah. It's uh, Mickey's per second, yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. We learned something new today. <laughs> and uh, Shashi, coming back to your team here, it's the Crazy yeah. Knights. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, what what do you have to say about your team? Well, um, okay. Uh, basically, I cannot say anything new about Hikaru. Is one of the absolute uh, top players of uh, uh, US and in the world. And uh, one of the one of the best uh, uh, rapid players, yeah. So basically, uh, he's the main strength of the team. Hmm. And uh, 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 Maria Mustik, of course, uh, people know that uh, she has uh, played the uh, world woman. Uh, uh, championship, yeah, at the highest, she has played at the highest level, and uh, 
and uh, definitely that uh, experience is going to matter a lot and uh, Marianne is one of the most uh, practical players and uh, I've ever known and uh, she played uh, extremely well in the recently finished uh, World Women Team Championship right and uh, and of course the the young uh, 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 under 20 and uh, both the boy and girl. Aryan Chopra, of course, I've seen him play in uh, Aeroflot and so on. He's one of the most talented youngsters in the country. Right. And uh, 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 not my, I don't know much about the... the uh, yeah, but uh, the thing about the young players is uh, uh, generally they're improving quite fast. Yeah. So uh, I would say that uh, our chances are as good as any team. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a very well shaped up team, and I especially like a lot of people are like Hikaru. Although his the teams have been made with classical rating in mind, his mm -hmm. classical rating is around twenty seven thirty six. But yeah. uh, his strength in this format is more than that, you know. So yeah, that's yeah. a big edge, and uh, I think you yourself have played against him several times. I remember the last time you also played with him at World uh, Rapid Blitz, yeah, yeah, World Blitz, Blitz yeah. twenty nineteen. So very cool, and you, you. I don't think you uh, are one who listens to a lot of or watches a lot of stand-up comedy. But do you know Biswa Kalyan Rath, who is uh, your? Um, not really. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Basically, there is uh, too much. Yeah. I mean, uh, and it's not. There's not much time to watch <laughs> online comedy or something like that. But. Uh, uh, Okay, I mean, uh, of course, if he's the team sponsor, I would definitely like to see maybe one of one. Oh. Uh, but uh, let's see. I mean, uh, it's uh, uh, it's uh, uh, stand-up comedy is kind of uh, uh, a completely uh, unknown genre to me. Maybe I've watched a few, but uh, in in my local language Tamil, but uh, not uh, too much. Yeah. I, yeah. I can tell you that when I started watching it, Biswa was yeah. the first one that I watched and I loved so much. His stand-up is called Biswa Mast Admi. And uh -huh. I'm so elated that he started playing chess very seriously. You know, he also practices a lot now. Okay. So okay. it's a very nice uh, synthesis of, you know, stand-up comedy and chess. Yeah. But coming to the name of your team, uh, Sashi, yeah. it's called the Crazy Knights. Mm -hmm. And your position that we are going to look at he somehow has a crazy night move. <laughs> yeah, okay. But, uh, I don't know whether it happened by coincidence, but uh, yeah, this is one of my favorites, yeah. Also, you love night maneuvers, right? Yeah, uh, in general, uh, this uh, unique night moves has uh, uh, occurred uh, quite a lot often in my uh, career, yeah. So just uh, not only this one, also uh, in 2009, I had this uh, 91 move. Uh, in uh, one of the uh, in, uh, in Poland tournament, yeah. So uh, just uh, it was really. Uh, uh, I mean, when the knight enters uh, the opponent's territory, you know it is uh, generally uh, wreaking havoc, yeah. So uh, when uh, and especially when it reaches your opponent's first rank, yeah, it's a kind of a unique thing, yeah. It normally does not happen that much, yeah. Right. But I have managed to make uh, a lot of these moves uh, in my games, yeah. So for instance, this one and um, also in one of the national team championship where I got to play night eight. Yeah, it's uh, okay. I mean, basically uh, not out of desperation, but uh, just uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a nice move to make, let's say. Yeah, it's something which uh, I think you really are careful in the position if there are some maneuvers uh, and so on. But this position right now is quite complicated. Because yeah. if you see uh, the rook is hanging right now, I mean, you can take the rook as black. Mm -hmm. The knight mm -hmm. is hanging. So, uh, yeah. guys, try to think what is the best move for black here. And then when you resume, uh, Shashi will tell you the right answer. Yeah, Shashi, what, what's the move? Okay, now it's knight h1. Basically, the knight is hanging yeah, on f2. So, if you take rook d4, probably uh, just king f2. But it's still maybe winning but uh my, like if i take here a6 rook d8 it's probably still winning yeah ah, rook d8 okay yeah sure and this is winning but uh very clear was knight h1 because you can't you don't usually bring your knight to the corner of the board right that's what yeah. is very special 
Yeah. And King H3 and now Rook D4. Yeah, just winning. Yeah. And you won the game. Yeah, very very yeah, nice yeah. game. And you won this. And uh, Shashi, it's uh, going to be very exciting uh, to follow this event. And uh, it starts from tomorrow. Uh, and uh, anything about the format, you know, there's one game every day. So that that's, makes it a little bit light, right? On on the players or how is it? I guess so, yeah. Um, it's uh, 15 minutes plus 10 seconds, yeah? Right. Yeah, so uh, 10 seconds gives you enough time to, you know, contemplate. Uh, it's a good data increment, yeah, I would say, yeah. And it's also, uh, it's been used in uh, free day time controls, yeah. Right. So, um, I, I I think it's uh, first is 25, 10, and now, and then after the next control is 15, 10, probably. Yeah. Correct, correct. Yeah, so uh, it's a quite a good control and uh, uh, a good, pra uh, good practice. And uh, I hope uh, our team makes it uh, to the top, yeah. To the top, uh, and yeah, to the finals, last four. Yeah, 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 final, and, finals, yeah. And all the best, Shashi, and also to Crazy Knights. Uh, I hope your team does well. Thank you.